Hello friends. Our story this week is called Koala Lou. Koala Lou, and this story is written by Mim Fox. She's the author, and we know that authors do what? Authors write the words. And the illustrator this week is Pamela Lofts. Pamela Lofts is an illustrator. What's an illustrator do? They draw the pictures, that's right. And I noticed, look how realistic these pictures look that Pamela Lofts has drawn for us of this koala. So we're gonna learn some things about Koala Lou this week in our story. Now, today we're gonna do what we know good readers do and that's visualize. What's visualize? Remember, it's making a picture in your head. It's imagining it and seeing it in your head even when you can't see the pictures. So I'm gonna start out showing you some pictures and then I'm gonna stop and you're gonna draw what you think something looks like. So let's read our story today, Koala Lou. I thought I would come outside today because the setting of this story is outside and there's lots of trees in this story. So I thought it'd be a good time to read to you from my outside. So here we go, Koala Lou. There once was a baby koala so soft and round that all who saw her loved her. Her name was Koala Lou. Look at that cute little koala. The emu loved her. The platypus loved her. And even tough little koala claws next door loved her. Look at all those different animals. They all love Koala Lou. But it was her mother who loved her most of all. A hundred times a day, she would laugh and shake her head and say, Koala Lou, I do love you. Oh, our mothers do love us, don't they? Whenever she stretched in the early morning or climbed a gum tree or bravely went down the path all by herself, her mother would smile and say, Koala Lou, I do love you. We like to hear our mothers say they love us, don't we? The years passed and other koalas were born, brothers and sisters for Koala Lou. Soon, her mother was so busy that she didn't have time to tell Koala Lou that she loved her. Although, of course she did. Look at mother, so busy with all these new baby koalas and look at Koala Lou. She looks a little upset that her mother doesn't have time to tell her she loves her, doesn't she? Every night as she curled up under the stars, Koala Lou thought about the times when her mother had looked at her and said, Koala Lou, I do love you. She longed for her mother to say it again. One night, Koala Lou had a splendid idea. Preparations had begun for the Bush Olympics. She would enter the Olympics. She would compete in the gum tree climbing event and she would win and her mother would fling her arms around her neck and say again, Koala Lou, I do love you. Koala Lou began her training right away. She jogged and puffed and lifted weights. She hung from a branch with one claw at a time until she ached. She did push-ups until her stomach hurt. And last of all, she climbed the tallest tree that she could find over and over again. Look at the sign over here, Bush Olympics. So it's time for the Bush Olympics. She's been training, she's ready. Sometimes her mother would watch her and ask, how are you going, Blossom? Fine, just fine, Koala Lou would reply. Look, she's way up in the top of the tree. Here's her mom, look, busy carrying on with all the babies. At last, the day of the Bush Olympics arrived. Ooh, look, I love how colorful this is. All these animals, all getting ready to watch the Olympics. The Bush Olympics, the bush is the outside where these animals all live, their habitat. 
Koala Claus had also entered the gum tree climbing event and everyone knew how fast she was. But Koala Lu wasn't scared. She saw her mother in the crowd. There's mom in the crowd. And she imagined her mother saying, Koala Lu, I do love you. And her heart was filled with hope. It was Koala Claus who went first. Her climb was a record-breaking 22 meters, that's how far up she went, in 70 seconds flat. The spectators whistled and cheered and wildly waved their party hats. So the spectators are the people watching. Look, they're all throwing their hats up in the air and cheering because Koala Claus broke the record. She went up that far so fast. Can I do better than that? Wondered Koala Lou. I must. And as she stepped toward the tree, a hush fell over the crowd. On your mark, said the kookaburra. Get set. Go. Oh, do you think Koala Lou can do it? Okay, here's where we're gonna do our visualizing. I'm gonna read you the story, but I'm not gonna show you the picture. And I want you to imagine how this happened. Koala Lou leapt onto the tree, up and up and up. She climbed higher and higher and higher, faster and faster and faster until there she was right at the very top. The spectators roared and clapped and stomped their feet. Imagine that. Imagine her climbing higher and higher and faster and faster up that tree. She wants to win this Olympics so bad because she wants to hear her mother say, I do love you again. Imagine what that looked like. Think why the author used those words, higher and higher and higher, faster and faster and faster. You know, if Mim Fox, the author, had just said she climbed up really high, would it have been as interesting? Could we have seen it in our heads as much? Not really. She used those words and let us just see it in our minds. So what I want you to do now is I want you to get your red journal and you're gonna draw what you think it looked like when Koala Lou was going higher and higher and higher and faster and faster and faster up that tree and she made it and how she felt. Draw that for us and write us a sentence for what you think that was like. So pause this video, go do that and then come back and I'll show you the picture and we'll find out the rest of the story. All right, so here's what it looked like. Here's all the spectators cheering for Koala Lou. And here she is at the top of the tree. She's climbed higher and higher and faster and faster and she's made it to the top. Do you think that she has beat Koala Claus? Do you think she's gonna get to hear her mother say, Koala Lou, I do love you. I sure hope so, let's see. But she wasn't fast enough. In spite of all her training and all her hoping, it was Koala Claus who won the gum tree climbing. Koala Lou came in second. Koala Lou went off and hid. Oh, look at her. She heard the shouts of the Bush Olympics and she cried her heart out. Oh, she's so sad that she came in second place. When the first stars of the evening appeared in the sky, Koala Lou crept home through the dark and into the gum tree. Her mother was waiting for her, but before she could say a word, her mother flung her arms around her neck and said, Koala Lou, I do love you. I always have and I always will. And she hugged her for a very long time. And there's the kookaburra at the end of our story. Isn't that an amazing story? You know what Koala Lou learned? She learned that she didn't have to win a race for her mother to love her, that her mother always loved her. 
you know that's an important thing for us to remember sometimes our moms are really busy maybe they're having to do work from home and they don't have time to sit down and work with you sometimes you've got a younger brother or a younger sister that mom has to help a lot and sometimes we feel like well maybe mom just doesn't care anymore but we know that's not true our moms always love us no matter what we don't have to win a race even when we get in trouble and we do things we shouldn't do our mamas still love us don't they they love us all the time no matter what and koala lou learned that that even though she didn't win the race her mother still loved her and she was so happy to see her mother hear her mother say those words i hope you'll remember that too that no matter what your mama always loves you and always will